boys and girls, and welcome to your online cello lesson. Today we're going to be working on your left hand, um, placing your fingers on the fingerboard to be able to play F sharp, E, and D. We're going to work on preparing to play hot cross buns, and we're also going to be working on our posture and our hand position. So what I would like you to do is make sure you have your cello out and you have your strap, your peg strap set up under your chair. Adjust your end pin, so that's the end of the pin that's at the end of the cello, so that the C peg, here's my C peg, is behind my left, left ear. So this cello is a little small for me. I should be playing on one that's a little bit bigger. Make sure that your, the bottom of the cello is contacting, your feet are contacting the floor, the bottom of the cello is contacting your knees, and this part of the cello is contacting about like the middle of your chest. So you should be able to give your cello a hug like this. And again, the C peg is behind your left ear, so we wouldn't want it here, or else your cello is too short. Make sure you're sitting up on the edge of your chair. I sometimes see students sitting like this to play the cello, or sometimes they're hunched over this way. So you might need to scooch up on your chair just a little bit so that you can reach. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, and we're just going to work on some open strings first. So take your right hand, you can place your left hand down for now. Place your right hand thumb on the end of the fingerboard, so about here, and take your pointer finger and I want you to echo after me on your C string. So play. Your turn. My turn. Good job. Let's move over to your G string. So here, I'm going to go first. Good job. Let's go on to your D string. Echo after me. Make sure you're sitting up and nice and tall. You're not hunching down. So nice and tall. Again, that C peg is right behind your left ear. Okay, now we're going to work on your left hand position. So here's my left hand. So we talked in lessons today about how your left hand thumb needs to be on the back of the neck of the cello. So for most of you, I placed either a gold star or some of you might have a piece of felt tape. So my left hand thumb is going to be placed on the back there. I'm going to bring my elbow out just a little bit away from my body. It could be pointed down a little bit. I don't want it out here. I don't want it crunched away from my body like this. So open in your books to page three, and let's just review page three a little bit. So let's start with number two, string cycle in four. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Make sure it's your pointer finger, or if you need to, you can switch to your middle finger. Let's start string cycle in three. What note are we starting with? If you answered A, you are correct. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Good job. Let's do march in four. So we're starting on our D string. So find your D string. That is the second highest string. So here's our A string, our D string. So just remember, boys and girls, the dashes mean to rest so we don't play. So we're starting on D. One, two, ready, play. Good job. Make sure you're looking at your music. So you're following along with your music. 
and also be really careful you're not starting to slouch in your chair so you're sitting up nice and tall. So let's do number five, waltz in three. What note are we starting with? If you answer D, you are correct. Here we go. One, two, play. Good job. So boys and girls, make sure you practice page three and go through that. If you need to, you could say the notes as you pizzicato, especially on numbers four and five. And you could also practice just playing your open strings and doing some ta and tt patterns. So for example, if I take my A string and go ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, or I can mix it up and use D and A together and go ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. So just mix that up so you're getting used to memorizing the names of the strings. That's very important. So next what we're going to do is we're going to work on our left hand notes. So I have my homework sheet out on my music stand. My music stand's a little far away from me just so that you can see me better, but your music stand should be right in front of you like this when you're practicing. So you're looking right at your music. Again, I'm going to move mine off to the side so you can see my fingers. So for our left hand notes today, so that's page four, we worked on our left hand shape and we said that our left hand shape is like this. And again, what we're going to do is place my thumb my left hand thumb on the back of the neck, so onto my gold star. And I'd like to start with the note E. So if you remember in lessons today, our first finger is placed on the D string. Okay, and I'm gonna keep a nice open shape between my pointer finger and the neck here. So I shouldn't have my hand crunched like this. We wanna keep it out. My elbow is just down, it's not out like this, and it's not close to my body. So it's right there. So first finger on the D string, you're gonna have to give it a good squeeze, boys and girls, and push that string down. It might feel a little uncomfortable at first, but it'll get easier. So echo after me on E. I'm gonna go first. along the side here so everything is nice it's being placed down I'm giving it a good squeeze so echo after me on F sharp in your chair or you're leaning over your cello so sitting up nice and tall also boys and girls be careful that your thumb doesn't start to peek out the other side like this okay you should always be back on the star or on the piece of felt that is back on the back of your neck okay so let's look at page four I'm gonna move my music stand just a little bit closer to me again you should have your music stand right in front of you at home but I have mine like this just so you can see my fingers so let's play number six which is finger preparation on F sharp. Remember that the dashes mean to rest, so we don't play on those. So here we go, one, two, ready, play. Good job. If you need to rewind the tape and do that again, you may do so. I would like you to practice number seven on your own, which is finger preparation on E, so making sure our first finger is on that first piece of tape. So let's look at number eight, finger preparation on F sharp, E, and D. So I have my thumb on my star in the back, 
And what I'd like you to do is start by just saying the notes and placing your fingers on the fingerboard. Don't pizzicato, don't pluck the strings just yet. So we're gonna start with our D. So ready, go. D, E, D, E, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, D, D, D. Good job. If you need to rewind the tape and do that again, you may do so, and you could do that as many times as you need to. Also, boys and girls, just make sure you're checking and make sure your hand isn't sliding down. Okay, so sometimes I see students, their hand starts to slide down, and then you'd be playing wrong notes, and we don't wanna do that. So just check and make sure that your fingers are on the tape. So now let's try pizzicatoing number eight, and let's say the letters out loud as we pizzicato. Check your hand shape. Make sure your elbow's down, not out this way. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall so you have good posture. One, two, ready, say the notes in pizzicato. Ready, go. D, E, D, E, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, D, 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 rest. Good job. If you need to, you can rewind the tape and do that again. Let's do it this time without saying the notes. So just pizzicatoing. One, two, ready, play. Good job. If you notice every now and then I was looking over at my fingers just to check and make sure they're going in the right spots. That's something that you can do and you're going to need to do for a little while until you get used to having your hand in this position and playing the cello and putting your fingers down on the fingerboard. So what I would like you to do is practice hot cross buns in Mary Had a Little Lamb on your own. Practice all of page four. Make sure you do that seven times this week. Make sure you fill out your homework sheet and have your parents sign it. And I will see you for your lesson next week.